Hello everybody and welcome to the Hardcore Iron Man, where we plan on keeping it that way. I'm Dirty Bob, and this is Iron Man. Hello everybody and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and start off with a beginner clue, and as always, it's pretty worthless. But our easy clue is actually going to give us a Guthix robe top, and that's an excellent, excellent fashionscape to start our day. Last episode, we left off getting supplies for all of our herbs we got at Wintertot. So, here I am grabbing a couple of more unicorn horns, but I'm also grabbing that 35 defense level. We're also still passively training prayer because I'm scared of the wilderness. So that makes a prayer level of 27, and we can use Mystic Lore. This is pretty much what a full inventory looks like, and I was able to run away with one of the heads too. This should probably be enough for all our potions, so let's go ahead and get to making them. Okay, I'm bad at math. Here's 37 defense and a few more unicorn horns. And from just any poisons from the unicorn horn, we get 30 herb lore. We're able to make defense potions, but also 31 too. That's 38 defense, and that's the main combat stat we're training because we just got 40 defense levels, and now we're able to use all of the rune equipment we got from Temporos. We were able to get 42 defense after this limp wart root grind. I sure do hate saying the name of that root, but 32 herb lore. And of course 33 because I'm not a joker and I just buy my eyes a newt. Of course, this is the most fun we can have trying to get some of our potion supplies. So we're just gonna go ahead and basically try to kill ourselves grabbing some red spider eggs. 83 red spider eggs, that's about five trips in there. Now let's get to making potions. Here we go, 34 herb lore. And that's probably gonna be the last level we pull out from all of the supplies we just gathered. Okay, never mind. 35 herb lore, and that's gonna be the last one with three more potions to be made. So, uh, does this quest give you the most quest points in the game, or what? Is it that hard? One demon dead, and I sure am noticing they're stingy with these quest points at the end of the game. I'm sure a few ladies can relate to this, changing into everything you own just to put back on what you were wearing. We've got a not-so-hidden treasure. Killed Dracula in all his glory. And I ended up killing an old man on the sea too. With a little help from a buddy, aka myself, we were able to wrangle up all of these sheep and I only exploded like three times. Ah, uh, what can I say? It's a cute little kitty, and I was hoping somebody would give our little calico boy a name. The first of semi-useful unlocks that you're actually gonna see, that's a new Slayer Master, and we've got some Slayer reward points in it, too. Taking a break from questing for a moment, so that way we can work on our Slayer. The goal here is to complete our first five Slayer tasks so we can start earning some Slayer rewards. Not 100% sure if I'm going to continue on with Spira, but I tell you what, I might just visit her daddy, Terio. But seriously, from one monster task, we were able to get all the way up to 17 Slayer. Let's go get the next one. Okay, so I got one of those tasks where it's like kind of a waste. So here's a cow task. We've got 18 Slayer, and from what I assumed is a real Slayer task, the Sour Hogs. Missing my defense levels as per usual, but that's 47 defense, and we also got 20 Slayer. One more absolute waste of a task, we had to kill birds. So here's a bunch of chickens dead on the floor. Graced by Spira to actually get a real Slayer task, and that's 21 Slayer, and the end of our crawling hen. So we got some plans for the end of the episode, but we're nowhere near there yet. But I'm gonna need a couple of smithing levels for our plans for the end of the episode. So if you guys can go ahead and guess what it is, put that down in the comments below, or you could literally just wait like eight minutes, either way. But if you can guess what we're up to by the end of this level right here, 
let me know. Prince Ali rescue done, and I think we need to talk about if this is really a reward, or did they just take away a barrier that didn't need to be there? That's the Knight's Sword quest done and over with, and you gotta love all that smithing XP. Bringing us all the way to 47 smithing. Spoon feeding somebody a reward they didn't earn. Classic American. We're trying our best to try to knock out some of these quests here, and uh, we just need some snape grass from Plague City. And the best source of low level snape grass is actually gonna be tribesmen. So, we're gonna kill a couple of those and see how many we can pull out of here. Like usual, we just missed our defense level, but that's 48 defense. There we go, 49 hit points levels. There we go, everybody. Loot from 57 tribesmen. <laughs> I really just waited until my food ran out, but we've got enough snape grass to do the quest we were looking for. And here's Plague City done and over with, and we got the fanciest mask in all of RuneScape. Completing Biohazard unlocks the second half of our dome, and that unlocks access to the combat training camp. The observatory quest all done and over with, and we actually ended up getting crafting experience out of this one. Awesome, we were able to get 28 prayer, and we were only killing gas because we were trying to complete the nature spirit quest. Perfect, that's the nature spirit. I don't know why, but I always want to put the number nine after jungle potion. Kind of like mambo number five. New claws, who dis? Unlocking telekinetic grab with 33 magic, and also 34 magic right after that. If you ever come down here for the Depths of Despair quest, make sure you kill a sand crab because you might just get 49 defense. And it's also a Kibos task, so keep that in mind too. <laughs> but Depths of Despair done and over with, and we even got a memoir page for our teleport. One of the absolute freakiest quests in all of OSRS. You fight an anime tentacle monster. Quickly completing elemental workshop number two and that gets us some crafting XP, some smithing XP, and a couple of good levels in both. But for right now we're actually focusing on the smithing XP and that got us all the way to 48. The first part of recipe for disaster started Kind of late on this account, but to be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. Well, to be fair. We haven't done anything dangerous enough that needed it. Yet. There we go. Level 81 cooking. And honestly, that's still fish from Temperos. The first of our recipe for disaster done and over with. And of course, you can never hate it on farming levels. Alright, we're over here seeing if we can't do our best try to get some ice gloves. It's required for some quests. Recipe for disaster to start with. <laughs> Alright. Ice queen, make sure I'm attacking the queen. Come on, attack the queen. <laughs> okay, just get over here, bitch. Why not? Well, that bad boy drains prayer like a sieve. God damn, did her health go up? Feels like it's lagging or something. Oh, we got one. Does it only go to 67? Jesus Christ. Oh, we finally got another hit past 67. Okay. Honest to God, I started checking the wiki to make sure this wasn't like a second phase. You know, the worst part about it is, I've actually done this before, too, so it's like, I should know, but no, I forgot. <laughs> Here we go, finally got some ice gloves. Recipe for disaster number two. And 23 Slayer, gotta love that. Taking just a moment to get in touch with our feminine side. And 36 Obelore from that quest. Plus, I figure I'll give you guys a quick little look of what I look like as a woman. Yep, still ugly. So if you're not gonna give a reward for your quests, why are they there? And I bet you never thought it was gonna happen, but this concludes the questing portion of the video. <laughs> but we actually just got 47 crafting, and you can probably tell what we're working on. A little bit of Piscarilius favor. 
Why are we working on Piscarelli's favor? Because we need to get it all the way up to 20. Perfect. And once we do that, we can actually do one more quest. The Queen of Thieves, and that actually gives us a whole nother 10% in Piscarilius, which lets us start digging up sandworms for Tynan. And you've heard this before in my videos, but as quick as it started, it really is done and over with in a flash. And we already got 100 Chris Piscarilius favor. <laughs> now I'm not necessarily a fan of the favor system that they've implemented because it kind of just locks off stuff that's already locked off by skilling levels anyway. But they did recently improve the Shazian area, and I won't say it's an improve for like making this easier or faster, but it's definitely an improvement when it comes to looks. And the best thing about that is we just got 100 Shazian favor. Now when we're talking about Arceus Favor, it's the absolute easiest one to gain anything for. If you end up putting your certificates in Arceus, you're probably dumb or you just can't gain magic or runecrafting experience normally. So, <laughs> we are actually going to throw a whole inventory worth of books into our magic training. Because runecrafting is uh, not as important as magic. And we're actually able to pull away 39 magic out of all of that. But most importantly, we got that 100% Arceus favor. Now we're left with the hardest one to gain favor for, in my opinion. But luckily, we were able to put 20% down with one of our favor certificates when we first got to the island. But here's the hard part. We got a gas mask, we got a pickaxe, and we need to mine some sulfur. These fart clouds over here will hit me one a tick, one or two a tick even. So honestly, as a hardcore Iron Man, this is very risky. And if you were a 10 HP hardcore Iron Man, you shouldn't come here at all, literally ever at all, at all. But the only good thing about that is we only needed 10% more favors so we could start mining Locovite, probably pronounced wrong. But we need about 600 Locovite, so I'll see you guys in 2-3 hours. Unfortunate thing about Locovite, you can only smith it on this smithy right here, so it's quite a walk. Here we go everybody, that's the last inventory for our Locovite bars. As you can see, we've got 562, I'm pretty sure we only need 561. 52 smithing, and we only got one more smithing level to go. 53 smithing. That's the final smithing level that we're going to be pushing for because we can make a full Shazian supply crate. Alright, so we're going to be turning in the rest of our Shazian supply sets, and hopefully we'll be able to finish off the Lokovengi favor. Oh, that's such a good experience drop. Let's see what we got. Oh, mining. Unexpected, but I'll take it. And 55 smithing too. And I can do chasing and supply too, but what's the point? We're already doing number one. 72%. And this should be the last drop off. And here we go with the final delivery, hopefully. Yes, that's 100% look of NG favor. And 56 smithing with literally just a little bit of XP left over for 57. But with that, we're gonna go ahead and call it a day, everybody. I appreciate you sticking around till the end of the video. So go ahead and like, comment, or subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.